Welcome back to the Arts of Savoy Actually, get here on this playoff second story. And yes, we're now about. I think, to be honest, I didn't really level up that much. I don't think I need to level up that much because I did grind a few and I'm not really getting that much money as I should be getting it because I'm not booking up as much enemy as I'm supposed to. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just decide to just go ahead and just record this fight while, while it's still fresh and while I'm still here able to do it. So, you know, let's go ahead and do this. Plus, it's the last part of our quest enemy. So, might as well take a word at it. And if you die, then that's that. There it is, right there in front of us, viewers. Destination. Really glad we can put him out of his misery. Now, this boss has 20k. So, to be honest with you, I don't know how am I going to hold up well against him because he also has. Uh, he's also strong against. Um, Flame. So I don't think Flame is gonna do anything for him. So I'm gonna take off my Flame Blade because he's strong against Flame. Um, Twin Hedge. I think with this young man right here. Okay, guys. Um, let's go. Like I said, I believe. I believe we're ready. I believe we can. We can do this. Probably gonna take us a whole bunch just to do it, but I believe we can do it. And if we can't, then we have to level up. No for answer. I will be, as I said, I've stressed um, using Ed Splitter a lot, and I will be using it a lot because once he jumps in the air, everything is going to be, yeah, real from that point. And I want to get a chance to daze him so I can have no um, ask him put a few attack on him, so also that wouldn't be bad. So the strategy for this is try to attack as much as possible. Keep the young girl back there, what's her name, Ren, healed up, and this fight shouldn't be that hard at all. It should be just like the next fight, but, you know, watch out for him, because he's powerful. This is 20k health, and I think this is the strongest boss we pretty much fight right now. We're going to fight right now. I'm not even gonna. That's the 
one reason why I did that, because as you can see, he's an aerial boss. Is that me? Oh, that is me. Damn. Thank you. Thank you for the cure art, bro. That was a good cure art skill. See that? My head splitter is actually hitting him for like fours of peace. So just, just keep doing it. Energy arrow coming. Alright. Um, while he's over there taking care of that, that's where blackberries are coming. Yeah, I need it. God, no, 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 Girls move out the way, move out the way, this girl is fucking dangerous, move out the way. Oh, nice combo, I like that combo, that was a dirty combo, but it was nice. And he's down! Wow, that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. Now, we killed him, and I believe that's that. That was actually pretty, not bad at all. You didn't have to go. That's my good. strength. Yes, your strength. I did it. You did it. Yeah, you did it. I like the way you did. You didn't do bad at all, Lord Ashton. You didn't do bad at all. Can you just like give us a tear so we can get the fuck off of this thing, for real? Like, 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 seriously, for real? And there's the tear. We acquired a tear of the king, guys. There we go. This quest with this young man is now over. We need to do now is go back to Zava and you know, pretty much go back to where this all began, which I hope the dragon don't attack us. And we will definitely be heading out of here and going off to the next place now that we have this young man fixed up. We have no idea, he just flew up in the sky. Yeah, so we have to head back there. I think I can bring the guys over there. Yeah, we have to head back to Zalva now. And we will definitely do that right promptly after we save the game. And life and health and we did good. And we did good. I'm so proud of my party. Never thought they would have pulled through the way they did, but they definitely did pull through. And trust me, that could have went sideways more than once, but it didn't. So you know I am happy for that. I'm really happy for that.
Let's take our boring ass back down this hill and we can go whippy. Yes, we beat him. We beat him. Uh, this part is going to be a bit, a bit ridiculous, so I think I might as well just do this. Oh, we're going to crawl down the hill. Now we're off the hill. Now run, Kenny. Run with your tiny little fucking legs. Run down the hill. And there we go. Alright. <clears throat> Ready, you two? Better be careful. Why look like why those niggas are so black, yo? What the fuck is that, yo? Like, it looks like a frog. I can't even identify what enemy that is, like, really. It looks like we won. I deserve this. Bless. Of course, you have to be blessed up. Blessed up all the time. All the time. Now, we learned that attack blessed up, and there's no problem with that. You know, that's actually a very good attack. This is cruel. Concentrate! Dude, how could the fuck that be cool? There's like three dragons. Like, do you know that they can get stunned? They're even worse. Please delay him. Please, please, please. Yeah, I think that one got me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Stay away from my girls. Stay away from my females. Stay away from them. Get away from them. Shit. Run. Nice delay. I like that delay. You know what's so funny? The description for this guy in the actual walkthrough is that he's actually fucking lame. But from what I'm seeing, he's pretty fucking good for a character that they describe to be a lame ass character. You know, they always say, you know, the lame ass character is always the best. And I don't mean to say he's lame as in, you know, he's not a good character to use. It's just that. The walkthrough describing that he's not bet in the sword department, he's not better than Kenny nor DS. But from what I'm seeing, his damage is far exceeded mine's right now. Even for the sword that I have on. So to be honest with you guys, to me I think he's You're a good enemy. one. Better be careful. Run, run. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's actually hit this shit for like five. And we gotta pull off we pull off a daze, that's nice. And now battling becoming a little bit much more interesting now because you know now we're seeing more attack, more skills, and more things. So guys, I'm gonna pretty much. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna take you guys there. my progress and my progress and keep going because now we have to get back to Salva and we have to lift the curse and after we lift the curse we're going to go we're gonna go back to that village and I'm gonna sell a couple of items and see if I really can escape with that bandit because I really would like to get that sword before I leave here if I can then you know it's whatever it's not even I don't know if that sword is worth 40k right now because I know if I spend this this little lump sum that I have right now with me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that guys. I don't think I mean if you guys want to you can pretty much is just go there, um buy the um the, the bandit glove. And after you buy the bandit glove, you know, you equip it to him, but make sure you learn pickpocket first. Things will work Go out back to Where? Mars, the, the um the actual village that Celine is from. And then you go to the guy that is right there, right by the um the inn, and you press the square button, which is supposed to be the pickpocket button. And once you pick his pocket, he will give you um he'll give you three items, I believe. One of those chests is a sword called the Marvel Sword, and it's very OP. I mean, I just don't think right now for me, 40k is just like spending 40k on one character. But once you get to the next area, you won't be able to take any advantage of the actual items and stuff there. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't consider needing the sword right now. But if you guys want the sword, it's a cool thing. The sword is supposed to be hold off until you get to like um this too. That's when you're really supposed to get the sword. But if you want it now, you can go ahead and get it. I don't find it important enough right now that I really need it for my character. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know, 
just go to the next area because I'm going to need all that money to buy, you know, equipment, gears, skills if we need be, and all of these other things. So I'm not going to do oh, it, but if you guys want to, right, you guys can go ahead and do it. I, I wouldn't have anything against it, but just do it exactly how I tell you, and you should be able to um, use pickpocket, because even if you learn the skill pickpocket, which I do, you can't use it if you don't have that glove. So um, you can go ahead and get it. I will probably come back later in the game, probably, you know, before we get off on this tour, and, you know, do what I have to do. And when I say get off, I don't mean like get off on the game, like, you know, or German or whatever. I just mean like, you know, just swapping over to the next disc. You know what I mean? Oh, That's what I mean when I say get I off. Miss. You know, get off this disc and get off the next one. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, people like to be fucking specific. Like, what the fuck you mean by get off? He's nasty. No, I'm not fucking nasty. I'm just telling you, get it off. You know, That's just the way I talk to Jamaican. What the fuck you expect? It's not like I'm American. So, so anyway, let's keep going. I don't have anything with Americans. Like them a lot, I'm continuing to chill. So, you know, let's keep going. On that side note, I'm going to save the game right here and. Mm, I'll meet you guys right back on the next Let's Play series. I think I'm over my recording time, so I'm going to meet you guys right back on the next Let's Play. It's a boy EX show, and I'm out. Peace.